So NetN just changed forever because you see in the old days, I used to create very complex workflows where I have this ultimate personal assistant and each of those agents, for example, the calendar agent, I needed to come and build an agent with every single tool I wanted him to be able to use. For example, update event or delete event. But what I'm going to tell you is going to change completely how you see NA10 and how you can use and build workflows within NA10. Because Claude just introduced the concept of model context protocol. And actually it's not just now, it was here for six months, but it really exploded and went viral now because there are tools that can finally use this protocol. And what this protocol means is that you can now take an LLM and connect tools to this LLM. So for example, if you think about it, what we have here is an LLM, right? We have the calendar agent. He's connected to OpenAI chat model, and he is able to call upon these different tools. He is able to update event on calendar, delete event on calendar. But what if there was one server with all of the different actions this LLM could take on calendar, every single one of them? And we didn't need it to come here and create sub events when we wanted to work with the agent. This is exactly what MCP is doing. And this is how it looks. We have the AI agent and you have two different actions he can take. He can list all of the tools within an MCP server and then he can execute all of those tools. So imagine for a moment that I will take this personal assistant and now instead of building all of those sub agents and in every single sub agent have all of the different actions, I will just give her different connections to MCPs. She can search online. She can act on the browser instead of me. She's connected to my emails. She's connected to my drive. She's connected to Notion. And Notion is a great example because if we will go and add a Notion tool, what you will find out that there is so much actions that you can take on Notion. So to build all of the different actions that you can take, like a database, and within database you have pages, and within pages you have tables, and within tables you have rows and columns. So instead of all of this, all you need is one Notion MCP server that you can call all of the tools and then execute whatever you like. So you can connect your personal assistant to Notion with an access to all of the different tools Notion have. And whenever they update a new tool, the MCP server will be updated. And then you can actually execute each and every one of those tools. Now, when I started setting up, I found a very efficient way and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. So there is this GitHub called N8N Nodes MCP. And the entire installation is here, but I just thought to myself like, I can do a trial and error and I can even go to different LLMs like OpenAI, like ChatGPT or Claude or Grok and give them all of this and tell them, okay, guide me how to do it and then I'll need to go and do it myself. But instead, what I did was I actually went into Cursor, I created a setup document and I gave him this entire instructions of how to set it up. And instead of me doing anything, I just told him install everything for me. And he created everything from A to Z. He even told me, okay, you need a Docker. So I went and I downloaded a Docker to my computer. I installed the Docker. And then he created a script that runs everything without me doing anything. And then I just needed to go to NA10 and within NA10, just create the process like I know and like you know how to do already, right? So what I did is I integrated a chat message into the chat message, I connected an AI agent, I gave him an open AI chat model, and then I created two MCP nodes in his tools. One of them can list all of the tools, so list tools, and the second one, execute tools. And it's super simple, because here in the tool name, I just did from AI tools, what tools to use. So the AI agent, the LLM, open AI, will figure out what tools we need to use based on the input I give. So if I'll go and I start chat and I'll tell him, give me the latest news in the AI world. He, what he will do, he will go and get all of the tools he have. And then when he have the list of tools, he will go and execute those tools and go to the internet and find the information I want because this specific tool is Brave. It's using the Brave browser. So he will do the search and voila, I have 
the latest AI news here. And I didn't do anything to set it up. Like, honestly, instead of figuring out and finding all of the problems, I just used cursor. I just went here, I gave him the setup file and I told him install everything for me. So I've created this setup file and you will find it in my gist. I will give you a link in the description below so you can find it. You can download cursor by going to cursor.com and download it to your computer if it's Mac or if it's PC. After you install it, all you need to do is to open cursor, open a new folder, create a folder in your computer, then select this folder. After you select this folder, you will come here, you will create a new folder, I just called it docs, and in this folder I created a new file, I called it setup.md, and then I just copied everything in the gist and pasted it here. And then when you come here, you have the ability to add this document. So first you can just drag and drop it and it will edit. And you can tell him, write everything for me. And he will write the entire script for you. He will run the entire script. He will create the container within the Docker. And all you need to do is when you open the Docker, you go to the port. So by clicking it, it will open NA10 locally. So it's not online, it's local client of NA10. So you are connected to the internet, but you run it on your own computer. And then you will create a new workflow. In this workflow, you will do whatever you want. You can connect whatever tools and MCPs you like. I will also give you a link to all of the different servers. So all of those are different MCPs that you can connect. And on top of it, you can also use Smithery, which is smithery.ai, which is a library of all of the MCP servers. There are over 2000 MCP servers here that you can actually use. What you do is you'll just go press, for example, on GitHub, you will take this one copy. And when you create the instructions, you can even go to like cursor and tell him, I want to add a new MCP server and just paste it here. And he will tell you exactly what you need to do step by step and how to install it. He will update the setup MD, blah, blah, blah. He will do everything for you and he will tell you exactly what you need to do. So that's amazing because you can literally talk with the LLM and he will do most of the work for you and what you have to do, he will just tell you what to do. So if you want to download the setup file, again, it's in the description below. And if you want to learn more about how you can build application using cursor, how you can build AI agents and robust AI agents using NA10 and how you can build businesses and not just products, but business by being able to market those applications and AI agents that you are building, you can check the description below. I have a link to my school community. We are doing two times a week one meeting a week for NA10 AI agent building and one for building applications with Cursor or Windsurf. And I'm about to launch my Cursor course there and my NA10 course there. And there is already information and courses about marketing in the classroom. So if this is for you, you can check the description below. And until next time, ciao.